Hell is the Balance Confidence D by Sir Axman's Men by Underworld. This is five incredible moments caught on CCTV camera. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see how incredible these moments are and what happens, let's watch. From the shocking moment a landslide sends two security guards running for their lives to an unbelievable video of a school flooding during a freak storm. Here are five incredible moments that were caught on CCTV cameras. The Sutlej River is among the longest in India, flowing across its shared border with Pakistan. Technically, India controls the waters in the Sutlej River thanks to the Indus Waters Treaty signed by India and Pakistan in 1960. The treaty basically divided six rivers that flowed through both countries, three to India and three to Pakistan. The Indian government broke ground on the Bakra Dam built across the Sutlej River in 1948 and wrapped up the project in 1963. Ever since, the dam has provided electricity and tamed monsoon floods in the region. But in September of 2018, two Bakra security guards came face to face with a different natural disaster. <laughs> They either heard or saw something, but whatever it was scared those two guards enough to send them running as fast as they could. Seconds later, a destructive landslide rushes across the road, covering their small office in debris. It doesn't seem that bad at first. Maybe these two would have been fine. But then a massive boulder comes flying down and lands right where both of them stood seconds before. The damage was intense afterward, and we imagine it took cleanup crews several days to clear the debris. Landslides are all too common in northern India, with over 12% of the country highly prone some... to dangerous events. Wild Thankfully, the these two security guards made it out just in time. Some shit going on in Puerto Rico right now. Surat Thani, or That's Surat close. for short, is the largest of Thailand's southern provinces. The full name translates to City of Good People, and it divides into 19 districts, 131 sub-districts, and over 1,000 villages. One of those villages is home to a tiny auto shop where three employees got a good jump scare. Have you ever been so bored at work that you just wished anything would happen? Well, these three should be careful what they wish for. When they least expected it, they got a real jolt of entertainment. It seems like any old dull day at the shop. One employee takes a seat while two others scroll aimlessly on their phones. Then a massive bolt of lightning strikes nearby, lighting up the dark street and sending all three men scrambling in different directions. Our shirtless employee falls to the ground while the kid in the mask covers his ears. The whole event only lasts less than a few seconds. Finally, the masked employee puts his hands on his hips, looks at his co-workers, and probably lets out one of those we almost died laughs. According to the National Weather Service, the odds of getting struck by lightning in your lifetime, assuming you live to be 80 years old, are 1 in 15,300. These Thai workers were okay. lucky to be inside. Like Hopefully, one in a million the experience seen. got them through the, the rest of the night. 
you're thinking about vacation destinations, Zimbabwe probably doesn't come to mind. That is, unless you're looking for a safari adventure or to spend the weekend in Kariba, a resort town near Lake Kariba. For one group of Australian friends, their dream vacation turned into a nightmare during a late night dip in the swimming pool. Brendan, Amelia, and a handful of friends gathered around the hotel pool for drinks. But they weren't the only thirsty ones, as droughts dried up the nearby lake, forcing the crocodiles to find new water sources. At the start of the video, we see Brendan and Amelia minding their own business in the pool. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Then, a crocodile can be seen slithering across the concrete and slipping into the pool. The croc lunges at Amelia, and Brendan jumps out to safety. Another friend runs in as the croc snaps at Amelia, but she fends it off and tries to get herself to safety. But the croc comes back for one more bite, grabbing her arm and almost pulling her back in. The Nile crocodile has the third strongest bite force in the animal kingdom behind great white sharks and the saltwater crocodiles native to Australia. By some miracle, Amelia escaped with only a few cuts and bruises. Those pointing a cowardly finger at Brendan should think again. Crocs have a significant oh, advantage in the water. When he saw that thing lunging for him, he did the right thing by jumping out of the pool. Admit it, 99 times out of 100, you're not elbow dropping that crocodile. Right. During the height of the pandemic, students worldwide grew accustomed to at-home learning. Still, it wasn't long before students and parents itched to get back in the classrooms. As things cleared up, schools thankfully opened for in-person learning once again. But natural disasters can be just as dangerous as global pandemics, especially flash floods that leave your entire school underwater. In August of 2021, one school in Dubois County, Indiana, experienced some flooding of epic proportions, just as students were wrapping up their first month of school. The flooding starts outside and quickly envelops the yard. Then it bursts through the doors and carries away food stands in the cafeteria. The doors are no match for the mighty floodwaters as they fill the cafeteria up near the tabletops. Finally, we see a violent rush of water tear through the basement. It almost looks like those scenes in Titanic when, spoiler alert, the Atlantic Ocean rushes through the ship. Students at Northeast Dubois Intermediate School had to learn from home the Tuesday after as cleanup crews drained the school. The superintendent said the basement had about 11 feet of water and would probably stay closed for the next few years. The cafeteria was also a disaster and the school had to outsource lunches from a nearby high school. The kids got back to class eventually, but they're probably just waiting for the next crazy event to send them home again. Do bears come to mind when you think of Massachusetts? Probably not, but would you believe that 4,500 black bears live in the state and are moving further east every year? Well, don't expect to see one sporting their Red Sox gear at Fenway, but anybody with a large backyard and small pets should keep their eyes open. One resident learned that lesson the hard way when he dozed off in a lounge chair by his pool. Thankfully, his ring security camera was recording when a curious black bear walked up and tapped his foot. The footage shows the bear wander in from the right and take a big gulp from Matthew's pool. We imagine it didn't like the taste of chlorine. As it turns around, it finds Matthew asleep in the chair. The bear sizes him up before getting closer to investigate. He walks cautiously, sniffs Matt's foot, and then nudges him a bit. Matt wakes up, and the bear takes off running. So, what's the first thing Matthew does? He takes out his phone for a picture, of course. Matt's wife and friends didn't believe him until they saw the ring footage. Sure enough, there's a potentially hungry black bear checking to see if Matt is dead and edible. Instead, Matt was alive, and the sudden movements scared the bear right off. The state website instructs residents to make a lot of noise if they see a bear in the wild. Make sure it knows you're there before backing away slowly. Never approach the bear, especially if it's a mother with her cubs. Now that last part uh, should go without saying, but some people will do anything for a good picture. I didn't say that at all. This nigga put out his phone. Elizabeth is a small province to... in Turkey with just right? over 500,000 people. 
Like much of the country, the area is very much prone to earthquakes, with a 6.1 magnitude hitting in March of 2010 and a 6.7 magnitude hitting in January of 2020. Both devastated the country, but CCTV footage captured some frightening moments from the 2020 event. The earthquake struck around 9 p.m. on January 24th, with its epicenter in Sivrija, a small town in Elizik. Residents fled from buildings on the verge of collapse, and one group watched as a building came crashing down in front of them. The earthquake strikes, sending four men sprinting away from the building and into the middle of the street. There's a moment when they want to keep running, but perhaps the open area is the safest place they can be. Absolutely. It doesn't matter anyway. One of them points at a building across the street seconds before it collapses. They hightail it out of there, not wanting to stick around for what might happen next. The earthquake caused some serious damage within 40 kilometers of its epicenter. It impacted 19 towns and over 200 villages, causing 87 multi-story buildings to collapse in two cities. Elsewhere, over 1,200 buildings were so badly damaged that demo crews had to tear them down. In all, the quake claimed 41 lives, most of whom were from Elizig and neighboring towns. 2020 really sucked for everyone, didn't it? Mm. To see another video just like this one. Um, yeah, that is the scary thing about going to these other countries. They have some crazy natural disasters. Well, I mean, we have earthquakes in um, California as well, but they're, they're always mild. Um, well, during my lifetime, they've been pretty mild. I haven't experienced a bad earthquake um, living in California. But uh, yeah, that seems like a lot. And right now, apparently in Puerto Rico, I just saw something about there's like a state of emergency for the area, like Puerto Rico. And I think they even said Dominican Republic, they're having like a bad uh, natural disaster over there. I don't know if it's a hurricane or what, but that is scary. And I'm in Colombia right now, but I'm getting the fuck out of here tomorrow, actually. <laughs> I mean, I was already planning to leave. Um, so I'm going to move throughout South America a little bit before I go back home. But um, yeah, I'm moving further and further away from Puerto Rico. Hopefully I don't encounter any problems. Y'all pray for me. Anyway, uh, interesting video. Y'all let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what other videos you want me to watch. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!